G'day folks, Connor here from C-Dubs Media back with another video and today we're having a look at the Pamu Z1s from Padme. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Now you may remember a little while ago I did a review on the Pamu Quiet Mini. Now they were a pretty good pair of earbuds. And today we're looking at their cousin or maybe distant cousin, the Pamu Z1s. Now these headphones are definitely a quality pair of headphones and I'm going to go through why I think they're good quality. But before I do all that, let's have a quick look at the specs. So we have active noise cancellation, which is dual microphone active cancellation. We have Bluetooth version 5.2, which is better than version 5.1. These are 10 millimeter drivers and they do say that they are titanium composite drivers. It is USB type C for charging and wireless Qi charging, which is good to have. And they are IPX4 water resistant. Now, when it comes to water resistance, whenever you see an X, that means that hasn't been tested. So IP, X, the first one is dust, four, second one is water. So X means they haven't been tested against dust but they have been tested against water and that's how you get the four rating for the IPX4. So I would say you could probably wear these out in a little bit of rain, but you couldn't jump in the pool with them on. You've been told. I got this color sent out to me and I'm pretty impressed with it. However, I did really like the black and yellow one. I think that looked pretty cool as well. Comes in a trendy little leather looking pouch, easy to carry. Also comes with the USB-C charging cable and four different size earbuds for your liking. Okay, so now we've got the specs out of the way, let's have a look at real world use. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the design. I do like the look of these and I do like the look of the case as well. They're a little bit different. Now the case has a blue band around it that is interchangeable with different colors. Now you also do have this little clear piece of branding on the side where it says Palmy. That actually lights up when it's charging or when you put your earbuds back in your case to let them know it's charging the earbuds. So that's a little bit of flavor you normally don't get and I'm fairly happy with that look and feel of these earbuds. It does look a little bit trendy and it does also allow for some individuality. And it is also slim profile, so it's quite easy to slip into your pocket or into your bag. You're not gonna notice it, especially in your pocket. Easy, no drama. Now that little tab that lights up when you're charging is a bit of a double-edged sword because it can also catch on your clothing when you're pulling them out of your pocket. So something to be mindful there, not a deal breaker, but just a design flaw maybe that is occasionally going to bug you. Not often, but occasionally. The earbuds themselves come in four different sizes. Now I don't have massive Shrek-like ears. Actually, I've been told before that Shrek has small ears, but I don't have massive ogre-like ears and I was on the largest earbud to get them to stay in. The good news is though, that they actually did stay in for five and 10 kilometer runs. And I'd say on a 5K run, I would have to give them a bit of a nudge twice just to get them to stay in. So that's twice in five kilometers. Not bad, a lot of other earbuds you can't even wear while you are running. And they were also quite comfortable. I didn't have any discomfort on a 10 kilometer run which is good for an earbud, especially when they're not specifically designed for sport, to get no discomfort over 10 k's of running, pretty good. Now, customization is a fun part of the earbuds as well, because you can actually go in through the Palmu app or the Padmate app and create custom profiles for your listening. So you can change the double tap or triple tap for each earbud. You can't change the single tap, that is there to stay as it is, but you can definitely change double tap and triple tap. Nice. You can also go through this app to update the firmware and change the ANC loop method, whether you want it to go from ANC to no end ANC to transparency mode, or just have two of the three in the loop. So that's another option there as well that you don't always get with some of their competitors. Sound, let's talk about the sound. That's what we're all here for. And this is where I say it's subjective. What I might think is great when it comes to sound you might think sucks. So this is always subjective and I think uh, it's up to the user. But my experience has been a positive one when it comes to the sound. The lows are really pleasant. I like the sound of the lows, the rumbles, the B, everything's where it should be and I found it very enjoyable. 
The mids and the highs are fairly well represented as well. I didn't have too much issue with them at all. No tinny or shrill sounding effects, unless I went over like 80% volume, which I find at that point, most headphones are gonna be doing you damage to your ears, and most headphones or earbuds will start to sound a bit tinny above that 80% volume level. So these aren't too bad. They, they could be a little bit better at the higher end, at the higher volume levels, but I still really did enjoy the user experience right through from the mids to the highs up to about 80% volume. Now also that distortion could be your phone or it could be the earbuds. I was using the Galaxy S21 Ultra when I was reviewing the Palm Z1s. So I do think that maybe it's the earbuds and not necessarily the phone. Now for the ANC mode, I definitely noticed a change in the sound when I started ANC. ANC is good for certain sound levels. It doesn't block out everything, but it definitely blocks out enough to let you know that you've got ANC turned on. I did enjoy using it. Now when I was out running, I didn't really use it and I've never been a fan of transparency mode, no matter what earbud I use, so I don't use that. But I do, when I'm running, ANC off, when I'm in the house with all the noise around me, or public transport or something like that, then ANC on. It definitely gets rid of that low rumbly sounds that you can get from engines and that sort of noise. So pretty impressive with the ANC. Now the low latency is also true to its word. I didn't notice any delay in the sound when I was watching Netflix or gaming and I found that low latency was definitely low latency and I think you will find that the results are the same for you. So all in all, I had a really good experience with the Pamu Z1s. So how would I score these overall? Maybe a 7.5 out of 10. I think that's pretty good. I think the Pamu Z1s are a good buy they are definitely easy to use, easy to pair up, easy peasy to pair up, no problems whatsoever. Enjoyable, secure, comfortable. I mean, what more could you want? And you can actually choose the color that you wish to buy as well. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching my review on the Palmu Z1s. Thank you to Padmate for sending them out for review. Much appreciated. Don't forget, links down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will catch you in the next video. Check ya.